Hello and welcome to this edition of Red Alert, a social media broadcast for telling LU stories and sharing our defining moments. My name is Omar Hamza. I'm a junior majoring in chemistry with a concentration in pre-medicine. I'm Kelsey Tran. I'm a junior majoring in biology with a pre-dental concentration. And this is Josh. Hi, I'm Josh Yon. I was a 2007 graduate here at LU, and I am so happy to be here with you guys today. All right, we're happy that you're here. Um, so you're a Lamar graduate. Tell us about your time over here at Lamar, and what did you major in? So I started at Lamar in 2002. I was a communications major, and all growing up, I knew that I wanted to work in television. So I was a kid obsessed with broadcasting, obsessed with uh, television and radio, and just all that made that come together. And so it was a pretty easy decision to major in communications when I came to LU. Uh, and I graduated in 2007. And during that time, I got to do a lot of things with the department, hands-on opportunities, work in producing videos and hosting videos actually, and just really had a good experience. All right, so was there anything else that you were involved in on campus? No, I stayed pretty busy with things in the department. And they were, you know, very gracious in giving us opportunities to stay busy between classes and things like that. Uh, field studies and um, different things, you know, of that nature. Projects such as the Jason Project, which was yeah. a collaboration with Nat Geo and was an educational project that they let me be the voice of for five, six, seven years, and different things like that. So I felt like I was involved with a lot on campus, but it was all through the department because, to their credit, they were so great with giving us opportunities. That's awesome. Okay, so do you think with those opportunities, you know, that LU helped prepare you for what you're doing today or what specifically like stuck out that helped prepare you? Oh, without question. Yeah. And those opportunities, you know, really helped me hone my skills, not only um, on camera because I was doing LU TV news, I was doing different things like the department video and things such as that, but also behind the scenes because there were opportunities to produce and write and direct and all of that sort of funneled into what I'm doing now in my company. So without question, okay. uh, those opportunities definitely helped, if not, you know, gave way completely to what I'm doing now. Okay. Right. So you kind of already answered this a little bit, but what did you do after graduation and how did you start your um, business, Joshua Productions? So it's kind of funny. Um, when I was in college, I would take opportunities between semesters to work on shows mm -hmm. and there would be casting tours that would come around that I would go work on as a PA or different things that there were opportunities to do and so I was traveling a lot between semesters and I was working on shows and so around the middle of my college career I started a 10 year span that I was working in series TV so when I got out of college I was already working in TV and so I was traveling a lot and things like that uh, a couple of months after I graduated I started working um, on a couple of shows I did casting with Biggest Loser, Last Comic Standing, Super Nanny in 2008 I worked on a Nickelodeon show called My Family's Got Guts. We did two seasons of that in Orlando. Mm -hmm. Just a lot of really great things that I felt confident in being able to go after because of you know, the work that we did here at LU. And fortunately I was able to land some pretty neat opportunities and I give Lamar a whole lot of credit in that. But then, uh, I'll say this, you know, 10 years of that I decided that I kind of wanted to come back home and uh, you know, Traveling is great, working shows is great, and, uh, and it all had its place, but I kind of got to the point where I felt I wanted to come back home, and wherever you're from, home is home, right? So yes. <laughs> uh, this is home for me, and I just started my company in 2012. So, And now we kind of get to funnel that stuff in in a different way. So we just did some work with Nickelodeon a couple of months mm -hmm. ago, so it all kind of comes full circle, but we did it from our office right here in, in Beaumont, so you never know how okay. these things work out. Okay, so talk about the creative process when it comes to producing the videos you make? It's always different. It always, you know, it changes so much, but it always starts with a, a concept and an idea. Mm -hmm. And we'll sit around and just think, you know, what things have happened in our own lives that might be interesting to use as a vehicle to tell a story, or what things have we heard from someone else that might be interesting to use as a vehicle to tell a story. Mm -hmm. uh, I watch a lot of old advertising from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s and just see how things worked back then and get ideas of, you know, we don't ever think about this particular way of doing things now or, or things like that. And so inspiration can come from a lot of different places. Uh, but it always starts with a, a concept. You always start with the, the creative aspects of it and then we build a script around that if we're producing a video. And, uh, you know, from there it can go to casting, it can go to um, scouting locations and storyboarding and shot sheets and all the different things that are necessary to 
put that all together. We go prop shopping a lot, you know, and thankfully Amazon Prime has made that a lot easier mm -hmm. for us to go prop shopping, but we still have resources that we use. There's a guy that I use who's fairly local that has a massive warehouse of just everything from any decade you can imagine, and mm -hmm. I go there a lot to, uh, to get props. So all those different things kind of come into play when, when these are coming together, and you don't see these things, but it, there really is a lot sort of below the surface that comes together in the pre-production phase before we actually even turn on a camera. Um, and you just recently produced a Lamar commercial commercial for campaign for our. <laughs> <laughs> and you just recently produced a commercial for our Lamar campaign, and it aired in the pregame show f uh, for the Super Bowl game. Yes, that was yes. so exciting. All right, and let's watch it real quick. moment is here. Your moment is now. Make the most of it at Lamar University. All right, tell us how this came about. Where did the idea come from? So it all started, I got a call from a good friend of mine named Daniel McLemore, who is in marketing here at Lamar. He and I went to college together and did a whole lot of stuff together, including the department video that I was speaking about earlier. And he approached me about doing possibly some commercials with Lamar which was so exciting to me because one, as a Lamar graduate, you know, it's a great thing to be able to come back and do work with your alma mater. Yeah. And two, we had done some work with Lamar in the last year doing some uh, videography for some workshops and things like that. So it seemed like it was a good uh, fit to sort of transition into that. And so he presented me with some creative ideas that they had come up with around the, uh, your moment is here, your moment is now. And uh, we just sort of sat around and thought, well, how does that factor in to, you know, the student's life. And thankfully, my assistant slash editor slash producer in our company named Chloe Sullivan is a recent graduate of Lamar. And she has a fantastic story where she went to Lamar for a bit, she took a little time off, came to work for us, the two are unrelated, but came to work for us, and then went back and finished her degree. And so she has this very fresh perspective of what it is to be a student at Lamar. And so she really took the ball and ran with these scripts, uh, not only in the one you just saw, but the ones that are coming up. And okay. you know, what is it like for a Lamar student to be inspired as a young person? What does that look like as they go through their college career? How does that come full circle with you know, how they were inspired originally? And in the case of this commercial, it's that the mother was actually an LU student. She has this pink stethoscope on that she uses through her entire career, not just as a student, but as a professional, as you see her on the couch later on. And the daughter is inspired by that. We see the young daughter playing with her toy stethoscope. And then as the years go on, the uh, daughter grows up. She becomes a Lamar University nursing student. And then at her graduation, her mother gives her that pink stethoscope. So now it's full circle. And Chloe wrote that. And I just thought that was so just fantastic. And I just immediately saw it in my head how we could do that. And the lead actress that we used uh, as, as the older daughter is actually an LU theater student. And the mother is an LU graduate herself. She's an actress in Houston named Julie Fontenot, who is just brilliant. We've used her on a lot of stuff. And um, of course, the youngest daughter is a future LU student. <laughs> so it, uh, it all just came together in a really wonderful way. And uh, we're all very proud of it. And thankfully, the reception has been so kind on that. Mm -hmm. And we're so excited to do the next ones. There's two more coming in the series, and we just can't wait. OK, so as part of the whole Your Moment is Here campaign, the university actually posted a, a few billboards around the town in like Houston, Dallas, San Antonio, which is probably where you might recognize hey. Kelsey from. <laughs> Her picture's plastered on this massive Thank billboard. <laughs> I was telling Kelsey this morning, uh, the other day I was driving on the highway and saw, saw her billboard, and so she's a celebrity, she's famous. <laughs> but um, wrapping up, so what do you miss most about being a student at Lamar? Oh my gosh, it's such an easy question to answer. It's oh. the people. <laughs> So the okay. department here, the people I went to school with here, just some of the best people in the world. And the people who uh, I went to school with are still some of my best friends to this day, people I'm very close with. Um, you know, I could just sit here and name names all day long, and the people who are in the department as our professors, as our advisors, and, and people that 
you know, we really looked up to are still people I'm very close with as well. It's funny how people who are your professors that the hierarchy is teacher-student end up becoming your friend. And so people like O'Brien Stanley, I just yeah. think the world of, and um, Dr. Mahalski, and, and people who have retired, Dr. Harrigan, Dr. Baker, just all these people who, you know, really seeded into us, Dr. Elliott, so many, um, end up becoming your friend. And, and I just think that's such a cool thing because it doesn't stop at graduation. You know, these people have a genuine interest in what you're doing after when you run into them, you know, at the grocery store or when you come back to do something like this today and you run into someone. Uh, Gordon Williams, the uh, supervisor in the television studio, who's now teaching the practicum, is one of my best friends. He was one of my groomsmen and I met him here when wow. I was a student. So, you know, it just goes to show how wonderful the people who work here are and how, you know, just vested they are in the education and the success of the students here. So, um, without question, my experience here at Lamar was wonderful, and I just thank the world of the people here, and it's such a cool thing to be able to come back and, and do things like this with you guys, and so it's just fantastic. Well, we're glad you're here. Um, and that's all we have for this episode of Red Alert. Um, we'll, be here, we'll be hosting more of these shows in the future, so be on the lookout on all of our social media platforms. And we'll also be hosting a bit of a exclusive content on our Lamar University Ooh. Instagram page. So we'll be asking Josh a question on there. So be sure to check it out. And you guys did a great job, by the way. These guys are fantastic. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>